Good morning, guys. Hope you're having an amazing day today. We came to um, King Kebab in uh, Abbotsford. Uh, they have uh, Persian food, so they have kebabs with rice, as well as they have chicken wings, uh, lots of uh, kebab and barbecue platters, salads. So it, uh, one of the unique things was that they, on the, uh, that they have on the menu is kebab which, which is a sandwich comes uh, on a 12 inch uh, bun. They have the option of ground beef, golden chicken, spicy chicken, hot dog, or um, a mix. So let's hear the bottom. Um, they have like all your other regular uh, stuff, you know. Rice uh, platters, you have ground beef, chicken, and then they have like uh, larger platter options too. Um, okay, yourself? Are you ready to order? Yes, uh, we wanted to see if we can get the actually the kebab which uh, two of them, uh, so two with that? Kobe that yes please. Yeah, sure, no Thank you. Anything drink? I think water is fine. All right. Thank you. No spicy? Um, one is spicy. The second one, mild, yeah, good. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. So the cool thing is they serve you water. I like these bottles, it's really nice. It came right out of the fridge. It's nice and cold. I love cold water. And then this way you don't have to actually bug the server because you can refill your uh, cup at any time. And especially me, I'm gonna have some spicy food, so I'm probably gonna go through this whole jug. And the restaurant is really, really cool. They have lots of nice uh, decor, cool lights, um, really roomy, uh, and uh, decor is really beautiful. Um, they're in a, in a little, I think there's the Seven Oaks shopping mall. They're just like a block or so um, away from them. Just across the street, there is like another little strip mall. There's Sea Lovers, Dollarama, Bulk Barn, um, and a couple of other uh, things. We'll show you guys right after. And they're just in a, in a corner. Uh, right now, there's nobody here. We're the only family. So we'll see how long it takes for the food and uh, let's try it out. Let's see what it tastes like. I'm excited. Okay, so we got the sandwich. This is the sub. So I want to see if the camera would uh, focus on it. So we have rice there, ground beef, uh, I think cilantro, onions, and we also got three pieces of uh, pickles and a little bit of some sauce on the side. I got mine a little bit spicy, so it's a nice baguette. Let's see inside. Mm, it smells really good. Wow. Really, really good. This I think is perfect for to go. The pan is sweet. The sauce is really flavorful. And I'm just gonna try this other side sauce that they gave us. Just gonna open up my knife here, just gonna try the sauce by itself first. Mm. It's like a chipotle, I think it's Swedish a little bit, mayo-y, creamy, and oh, it's light, it's really light. So let's add a little bit of fat on it. When I saw it on the menu, it said 12 inches, I was like, wow, that's that's quite a bit, but now like, when I'm tasting it, it's super flavorful, I'm like, you know what, I could probably eat two of these. The meat is super tender, lots of spices. Although I got a little spicy, you, you don't feel it. Like it's just a little bit, you feel a little bit of thing, um, like tingleness on, on your tongue, but that's about it. And they have rice in there too. So it's, it's, it's really filling. The 
onions are nice and soft. A little bit of a crispiness to it. Hmm. Wow. I've tried kubia kebab at many other places and they always had been a little bit more like spongy, a little bit on the chewy side. And I thought that's how it's supposed to be the texture, but here it's super moist, like it's super soft. You don't get that elasticness or um, toughness that you see at some of the other places. It's really easy to chew on and easily breaks. I would pick this over a platter any day because in my opinion like Iranian rice is it's lacking a little bit of flavor like for example salt or maybe spice because it's more of like blend but here the rice goes with all the spices the meat uh, the gravy the, the veggies and it's super flavorful it's really good thank you the onion gives it a good crispiness because everything else is super soft so it, it goes really well I mean, it has a little bit of spiciness to it, the onion because it's fresh and then towards the bottom you get the bite of the rice No, I don't even think you need this, the, side, the sauce on the side because the sandwich itself is already so flavorful. Yeah. You don't need the sauce. I think without the sauce, the sandwich can carry itself. It doesn't need the sauce. Because on the menu they said it comes with the meat as well as the homemade gravy, like the house-made gravy that they have. So I think that has already like the sauce on the sandwich, which makes the bun that much more moist. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. We've, we've tried you know other platters like uh, at other Persian restaurants like Kasbah, um, Yes, and many of the other ones. So we want to try something different. Let's see how it lo how it looks. So you got the ground beef, the veggies, the rice. I'm they're pretty big too. This is half of it. And for the sandwich, for 12 inches, it's basically around $12. If you're on the go or if you're in a rush, just order this, take it to go. Quick, delicious, flavorful. Filling. Earlier, because I was hungry, I thought I could have two of these, but it's actually pretty filling. The bun, meat, rice, veggies. And it's the second one. I'm going to continue finishing this. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, as well as turn notification on. I'd love to hear your feedback. What do you think about a uh, Persian sandwich with rice, uh, kobita, veggies? Have you tried it before? If you haven't, let us know what else items if you'd like us to try. Let us know what you think about these if you have tried them before. Until then, we're out. We'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.